Good morning, Corey. It is day 51, and I think there's something special about this day. Some of our, some of our, some of our people, our kids, may, and parents may really like today. It's May the 4th. May the 4th be with you. It's Star Wars Day. Sling it out, Liam. Sling it out. Show him that lightsaber. Oh, it's not working. Get it. Get it out. Oh, there it is. Liam, use the force to shut the door. Oh, my goodness. You did it. <laughs> Corey, did you see that? Andrew, I saw it. But I, I gotta tell you, man, I know exactly how he did it. And once I tell you, it's gonna ruin the surprise. But I gotta tell you, man, he had magnets. It was definitely magnets. Liam, right? It, it was magnets. Corey. Liam. Did not have magnets. Magnets. You didn't have magnets? Nope. So you used the force? Uh, maybe. I have a Jedi master over here. Andrew, there's only one way to test. Well, actually, there's two ways. First, check his hand for magnets. Just make sure. Second, you need to put him through some rigorous Jedi tests and uh, make sure he's the Jedi. If not, then uh, we can just go back to our regular May the 4th. All right, Coronacation, we're back. Corey has called Liam out. He thinks that he's not a real Jedi. Uh, Corey, you said that you think Liam has magnets in his hand. Show him your hand. Turn him around. Turn him around. Okay, there's no magnets, are there? Okay, okay, let's do some tests. Liam, can you make Maggie's toy that's sitting up on the back of the recliner fall off with the force? That's too Use easy. it. Okay, do it. Okay, okay. That freaks me out a little bit. <laughs> okay, but let's try. Okay, that looked a little too easy. What about the recliner. Can you make it move? You, you made the recliner rock. Okay, okay, okay. I still think that's too easy. People may think you're still using magnets and maybe you rocked it with your foot. I don't know. I did not rock it with my foot. Okay, 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 come here. Okay, come here. You see the front door over there? You see the front door? Use the force. Use the force, shut the front door. Uh, it didn't quite shut. Oh! Oh my goodness! You almost shut it! Okay, I think your strength ran out. I think. Did you get tired like Yoda? No. You probably didn't eat movies this morning, did you? Was that. Was that some leftover power? Okay, I think we proved. Listen. I think I'm Brooks boys, you crack me up. Hey, before we jump into a game of Star Wars stuff, let's check in and remember, all month long we are learning about determination. It's a very important thing for all of us to learn, and I got a quick video that is a great example of determination. So, check it out. Dear God, a robot we called Pokebot Bob broke again in the finals. Liam said he didn't think the new arms would work, and he was right. So far this year, we've lost the movement challenge. Spilled stuff on our notebook, had to change out the motor position three times, broke a base, fixed it, and then broke it again. Messed up the programming just before the second match. Changed controllers from me to Vance when I had to change out the wheels in an emergency because Liam was busy reprogramming. And then, the officials changed the course at the last minute. We got a warning on the inspection because we went over the limit on parts, so we had to take some stuff off. We came in... 14th. God, thanks for Pokebots. Actually, we had the greatest time. 
I'm so glad we stuck with it through everything. I can't wait until next year. Thanks again, Mason. In honor of it being May the 4th, be with you. We are going to play a Star Wars or Scripture game. It's a pretty simple concept, Andrew. All you got to do is vote whether you think what is put on the screen is in the Bible or in one of the Star Wars movies. And you can play along at home. Let's see if you can beat Andrew in today's game. I think there are 11 questions, so maybe hold up fingers to try and keep score, Andrew. Andrew, hint, hint. Uh, you should actually go back and watch some of the videos where you play games, because sometimes you think you did really bad, but you actually got more right than you thought you did. It's really funny to me. It's been one of my favorite Corotication things. Anyway, let's play this game. It's pretty easy. Star Wars or Bible, here we go. Who's the more foolish, the fool or the fool who follows him? Oh, uh, the Bible? Ah. Okay, let me look on you with my own eyes. The Bible. The Bible. Come on, come on, come on, come on, the Bible. Man, Corey. Ah. Oh, don't make me go back and watch my father die. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go with the Bible on this one because it's gotta be Bible. Yes, finally. Got one right. All right, one right. This will be a day long remembered. Star Wars. Star Wars, Star Wars, Star Wars. Star Wars, yes. I got two right, okay. We must suffer a lot. I believe that this is the Bible. Let's go with the Bible. Boom, there's three, all right. They failed to see why they were defeated. Star Wars. Yeah, Star Wars. No, I'm gonna go with Bible. Bible, Bible, Bible. Boom, boom. Changed it last minute, nice. Your eyes can deceive you. Don't trust them. Star Wars? Oh, that's close. Star Wars, yes. I am rescuing my people from your power. Uh, the Bible. The Bible, can I put another finger up? Can I put another finger up? Yes! Okay, here we go. I'm looking for a great warrior. Star Wars. Star Wars. Star Wars, Star Wars, Star Wars. Yes! Oh, I'm doing so good. But even so, there is some good in you. Ooh. Star Wars. Star Wars. Star Wars. Got it wrong. Your Majesty, why are you here? I think Majesty is a scripture word. I don't remember that being a Star Wars. Scripture. The Bible. I got eight right. Is that it? Yes, I got I got eight right! I got eight! I got eight of them right! Coronacation, I did better than you. I whooped you. Oh, I did so much better than y'all. Can you get more? Did you get more than eight, right? Huh? I don't think you did. All right, I'll see you tomorrow.